a world shaken, distant earthquakes and their ripples. Earth is a complex and interconnected system. Events happening in one part of the world can have far-reaching consequences. Earthquakes are a powerful example of this interconnectedness. When an earthquake occurs, it releases energy in the form of seismic waves. These waves travel through the Earth's interior and can be detected thousands of miles away from the earthquake's epicenter. The effects of these distant earthquakes are not always obvious. In some cases they may only be detectable by sensitive scientific instruments. However there is growing evidence that distant earthquakes can trigger volcanic activity. This is because seismic waves can cause changes in the pressure and stress within the Earth's crust. These changes can be enough to cause magma to rise and erupt. The idea that distant earthquakes can trigger volcanic eruptions is a relatively new one. However, there is a growing body of evidence to support it. For example, a study published in the journal Nature found that the 2004 Sumatra Andaman earthquake, the largest earthquake in the 21st century, triggered an increase in volcanic activity around the world. Yellowstone's Fiery Past, A History of Eruptions Yellowstone National Park is a place of breathtaking beauty. It is also home to one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes. The Yellowstone Caldera, a massive volcanic crater, was formed by a series of catastrophic eruptions over millions of years. The last major eruption occurred approximately 640,000 years ago. This eruption was thousands of times more powerful than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. It ejected massive amounts of ash and gas into the atmosphere. This ash blanketed much of North America and had a significant impact on the global climate. Fortunately, such super eruptions are rare. However, the possibility of another eruption at Yellowstone is a very real concern. Scientists estimate that there is a 1 in 700,000 chance of a major eruption occurring at Yellowstone in any given year. While this may seem like a small risk, the potential consequences of such an eruption are so great that it is essential to understand the factors that could trigger it. Seismic waves traveling through the Earth's core. Seismic waves are vibrations that travel through the Earth. They are caused by earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and even explosions. There are two main types of seismic waves, body waves and surface waves. Body waves travel through the Earth's interior while surface waves travel along the Earth's surface. Body waves are further divided into two types, P waves and S waves. P waves are compressional waves which means that they cause the particles of the Earth to move back and forth in the same direction that the wave is traveling. S waves are shear waves which means that they cause the particles of the Earth to move back and forth perpendicular to the direction that the wave is traveling. Surface waves are also divided into two types, love waves and Rayleigh waves. Love waves cause the ground to move back and forth horizontally. Rayleigh waves cause the ground to move in an elliptical motion. When seismic waves from a distant earthquake reach Yellowstone, they can interact with the magma chamber beneath the caldera. This interaction can cause changes in the pressure and stress within the magma chamber. Triggering the giant can distant earthquakes awaken Yellowstone. The idea that distant earthquakes can trigger volcanic eruptions is a complex one. There is no simple answer to the question of whether or not a distant earthquake could trigger an eruption at Yellowstone. However, scientists are beginning to understand the factors that might make such an event more likely. One important factor is the size and proximity of the earthquake. A large earthquake that occurs relatively close to Yellowstone is more likely to have an impact than a smaller earthquake that occurs farther away. Another important factor is the state of the Yellowstone volcano itself. If the volcano is already in a state of unrest, with magma close to the surface, then it is more likely to be triggered by a distant earthquake. The magnitude 9.0 2011 Tohoku earthquake in Japan, for example, triggered seismic waves that traveled around the world. These waves caused small but measurable changes in the ground surface at Yellowstone. While these changes were not enough to trigger an eruption, they did demonstrate that distant earthquakes can have an impact on the Yellowstone volcanic system. A supervolcano awakens. The potential impact of a Yellowstone eruption. A major eruption at Yellowstone would have catastrophic consequences. The eruption itself would be devastating, with pyroclastic flows, ashfall and lahars, or volcanic mud flows, affecting a wide area around the park. However, the most significant impact would be the release of massive amounts of ash and gas into the atmosphere. 
This ash would blanket much of North America, disrupting transportation, agriculture, and communication networks. The ash would also have a significant impact on the global climate, potentially leading to a volcanic winter with widespread crop failures and famine. The United States Geological Survey estimates that a Yellowstone supereruption could kill as many as 90,000 people immediately and make much of the country uninhabitable due to the toxic air. The economic and societal impacts would be felt globally. It is important to note that while the potential consequences of a Yellowstone eruption are severe, the likelihood of such an event happening in our lifetimes is very low. Listening to the Earth Monitoring Yellowstone's Activity Scientists constantly monitor Yellowstone for any signs of increased volcanic activity. This monitoring includes tracking earthquakes, ground deformation, gas emissions, and heat flow. A network of seismometers measures the frequency and intensity of earthquakes in and around the park. GPS stations track the subtle movements of the ground surface indicating pressure changes within the volcano. Researchers also collect and analyze gas samples from Yellowstone's hot springs and geysers to detect changes in the composition and volume of gases released from the magma chamber. Data from these various monitoring techniques are continuously analyzed to assess the current state of the Yellowstone volcano and to watch for any signs of unrest. This constant vigilance allows scientists to provide timely warnings and inform emergency response plans should the need arise. Preparedness in the face of uncertainty. The importance of ongoing research. While we cannot predict earthquakes or volcanic eruptions with absolute certainty, ongoing research and monitoring are crucial for mitigating risks and improving our understanding of these natural phenomena. By studying past eruptions, analyzing current data, and developing advanced monitoring techniques, scientists can refine hazard assessments and provide valuable insights for disaster preparedness. Public education and awareness are also essential. Understanding the potential hazards of volcanic eruptions and knowing how to respond in an emergency can save lives. It is important to remember that while the forces of nature are powerful and unpredictable, scientific advancements and proactive measures can help us better understand and prepare for the challenges they present. The story of Yellowstone is a reminder that we live on a dynamic and ever-changing planet. It's a story of immense power, potential catastrophe, but also one of resilience and the tireless efforts of scientists working to unravel Earth's mysteries and keep us safe.